that. Get him, Green Lantern. Yeah, Mr. Sandman, how dare you do that? That's just terrible. Okay. Oh, oh, hi, everybody. Hey, welcome back to Nutty's Treehouse. Yes, I am Nutty, your host. Uh, and welcome to my treehouse. Yes, it's the only place known in existence that allows an adult to come here and be a kid again. Yes, we hang out, watch cartoons, eat cereal, eat junk food, play with toys, and watch some pretty neat cartoons from yonder past, or past yonder, however that works. So, we've got a collection for you today. We've got a Mr. Piper cartoon, and we've got uh, your favorite girlfriend and mine, Betty Boop. Oh, oh I just, I, I have to have Betty Boop. I gotta get my Betty Boop fix, you know? She's just so Betty Boopy. So, okay, so let's get started. First up, we're gonna do Mr. Piper. So bring it on, Mr. P. Come with me, come and see all the wonders there will be in my stories, in my songs, in everything where fun belongs. We'll meet heroes, giants bold, visit lands both hot and cold, have magic tricks to shiver your skin, laugh galore with animals in our world of fun. Hi, Piper, hi! Today, for tale time, I have a story about a man who preferred flattering words to honest affection. He was a rich merchant who had three beautiful daughters. One day, he decided to find out if they loved him. And so, he asked them. Eldest daughter, how much do you love me? And my life, father dear. Very good, very good. And how much do you love me, second daughter? Oh, better than the whole world. Very good, very good. And now, youngest and most beautiful of all my daughters, how much do you love me? Father, dear, I love you as fresh meat loves salt. What? Is that all you give me in return for all I've given you? Out of my house! <laughs> Not knowing where to go, the girl wandered on and on until she found herself near a marsh where the rushes grew tall and swayed like corn. She was a clever girl and thought that if any robbers saw her, they might attack her and steal her jewels. So she made herself an outfit from the rushes which hid her finery. She put on a cap to hide her long blonde hair, and when she finished, no one would have taken her for the daughter of a wealthy man. And so she wandered on, looking for a place to stay. At last, she came to a big, grand-looking house. What is it you want, Missy? I wish for a night's lodging, please, ma'am. I will scrub and clean for you in return. Well, here's luck indeed. Inside with you, dearie. Get to work on that lot over there. The cook and the other servants soon began calling her Kappa Rushes because of her peculiar outfit. Now, it happened that the master of the house had a very handsome son, and as it was his birthday, a huge ball was held in the house. The servants were allowed to watch from a balcony, but Kappa Rushes refused to go down because she was a good dancer and feared that if she heard the music, she would start to dance and give herself away. But alas, she couldn't sit still. Throwing off her robe of rushes, she ran to the ballroom and started dancing. The handsome son singled her out immediately and danced with her through most of the night. Just before dawn, the young man implored her to tell him her name. No, I cannot tell you my name, sir, and I can never, never dance with you again. I must say goodbye. Kappa Rushes ran upstairs as fast as she could and just had enough time to put on a robe of rushes when the servants came in. Oh, dear, oh, dear, oh, dear. The old place is in an uproar. They're all searching for that beautiful stranger. The young master declares he will die of love if he does not find her. Young men don't die of love. He will find someone else. But alas, day by day, the young master grew thinner and thinner and paler and paler. And Kappa Rush has still said nothing. Until one day... The doctors say that unless the young master finds that girl today... Kappa Rushes went and looked in at the young man, who was so weak and worn with love for her that her heart melted. 
and she thought of a way to revive him. She fetched the village fiddlers, and she went to his bedside and threw off her robe of rushes. Play, fiddlers. Play your best. <laughs> Beautiful dancer. I don't care who you are, we must be married. Everyone from miles around came to the wedding, and among the guests was Caporush's father, who had lost his memory with the shock of losing his youngest daughter. And when Caporush saw him, she ordered all the food cooked without salt. So the food looked tasty, but tasted terrible. Oh, now I remember. I remember. I had a daughter once whom I dearly loved, and when I asked her how much she loved me, she said as fresh meat loved salt, and I turned her out. But now I see she loved me best of all. I love you both. Daughter! Fiddlers, strike up a merry tune. And they all danced happily ever after. <laughs> <laughs> hey, why did the cow cross the road? Why? It was the chicken's day off! Ah! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, get it? Oh, Lord. Paging Duck Duck and Goose, MDs. Next patient, please. Oh, oh. hi, Doc. Hi. Oh, well, you know, when I wake up in the morning, uh, I think I see dead people. I wouldn't worry. Oh, uh, really? You're very close to him. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh. da -da 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 -da. Hey, so what did you think of Mr. Piper's episode today, huh? Yeah, that sister, really? She's... How much do you love me? Father, dear, I love you as fresh meat loves salt. She loves her dad as meat loves salt? Wow. Uh, I mean, I can see why he kicked her out of the house. Really? Everybody else was like, oh, you know, the vastness of the world and this and that. And she's just like, as meat likes salt. Wow. Okay. Well, I mean, yeah, you do need salt on your meat. I mean, yeah, otherwise it's dry and bland. So, yeah. Well, speaking of food that's not bland, I am going to have me something delicious for cereal today. Um, I haven't had this for a while. And I don't know why, but maybe it's because it costs a lot. But I'm going to have myself some post grape nuts. Get it, get it out there. Can you get it in there? There you go. Post grape nuts. Oh, these are delicious. Um, they're so yummy. And, you know, I remember as a kid, we used to get these and I'd put sugar on it just to make it taste better. Well, you know, as I got older, I ditched the sugar and just eat them plain. I mean, this is delicious. So way to go, post, by the way, post. If you'd like to be a sponsor of my treehouse, let me know. I'd, I'd more than happy talk about your uh, cereal. It's delicious. So, okay, uh, we have a few more fun surprises in store. So before that, let's take some cartoons and a few skits. We'll be right back. We should just have some popcorn for this movie. That sounds delicious. You want to go make some? I'll go make some. Okay, cool. Popcorn's ready. Oh, that smells good, Bunny. There you go. Bonnie! 
Mommy, that's not popcorn. Ah. It is. <laughs> Can you lend me $20 until I get back from New York? Oh, yeah. Sure, Chad. Here you go. Uh, by the way, oh. when are you getting back? Who says I'm going? Bye. Hey! Ah. <laughs> hey, welcome back. Nutty's Treehouse. Hope you're enjoying the show today. And uh, I just finished a bowl of grape nuts, which were delicious. So now it's time to have a snack uh, in light of the next cartoon, because it's Betty Boop. So I need to get all the sugar I can, because, oh, she uh, exhausts me. So anyways, uh, I'm going to eat min mini vanilla wafers. Thank you, Ricky. By the way, Ricky's hand is the only part of him that shows. He doesn't like to show anything else. Right, Ricky? Yeah, right. Okay. So, hey, you remember the you remember these uh, Nilla wafers? Oh, they're delicious. Oh, well, they came out with this little uh, pack of mini Nilla wafers and very yummy. I mean, again, it's it's hilarious. What is it? What does it say? It says, um, oh, there's two servings. So there's two servings in this entire thing. Uh, I, I got to tell you, it's one serving, really, not two. So, yeah. All right. So let's take it away with Betty Boop. Call Daddy, boys and girls.
businesses want to succeed and grow, and by using NB Puppets, they will. NB Puppets will help you to save money, appeal to a wider target audience, be remembered longer, and stand out over the competition. And when your business succeeds, you'll be happy. And when you're happy, your customers are happy. The country is happy. The community is happy. The world is happy. The universe is happy! Hit him! So, if you want to make the universe a happier place, hire NB Puppets. Thank you. Hey folks, Chad and Bunny from the Chad and Bunny Show. Listen, the next time you're in the village of Greenwich and you're hankering for something delicious to eat, then come on out to Oma's Belgian Waffles and Cafe for, what can they get, Bunny? Belgian waffles? Oh, Bel yeah. Waffles on a stick? BBW? Sausage sandwiches? And a big R. Delicious food. So again, Oma's Belgian Waffles and Cafe in the village of Greenwich. Check them out. You gotta come here. Well, but Ed isn't smiling. I mean, it says smiling Ed. Uh, oh, hi, oh, hi, everybody. So, what did you think of that cartoon with Betty Boop, huh? Oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. I would love to, uh, um, yeah, I'd love to go out with her. So, it's funny. Did you hear that when the guy's like, Have you got pig's feet? Don't get fresh, no. You got pig's feet. And she says, ah, don't get fresh or don't get sassy or don't get crazy. I couldn't understand what she said, but suffice to say, she's like, hey, watch it, Buster. And it's funny how she'd rather deal with pots and pans and cooking and cleaning and uh, doing all that hard labor instead of dealing with those bratty kids. But uh, maybe, maybe that's why, as an adult, we only escape once a week. So, all right, well, anyways, I thought it was an awesome episode. And I've been reading this uh, special television issue, Smile and Ed, issue number four. Um, I don't know if a lot of people remember this or not. Uh, I found it at my local uh, comic book store. So, yeah, it's pretty neat, huh? All right, well, we've got a few more things in store, um, I think. So let's hit some commercials and a few skits, and we'll be right back. Hi, Harrison Dave here from the Grey Owls, the Villages of Florida. I am a member in good standing because I enjoy hot wings, cold beer, and good conversation. So if you like those things too, then you should become a gray owl. Um, if you're 50 and you live in the villages, then come on out, check us out. We're a great bunch of guys. Hootie hoo, hootie hoo. Hootie hoo, hootie hoo. Hello, are you an older woman who likes younger men? Why, yes, I do like younger men. Having a hard time attracting them to you? Well, you know, come to the think of it, lately I have been having a hard time getting men to come to me. Well, if you're rich and attractive... Well, yes, I am rich and attractive. How did you know? It could be your bad breath. B bad breath? No! No, I can't have that. <sighs> oh, yes, maybe I do. Well, worry no more, ladies, with cougar mints. Cougar mints? What's that? Yes, cougar mints are made exclusively for attractive older women with money who want to attract younger men. So, 
Go out and get yourself a case of cougar mints, and you will have the men pawing off of you like crazy. Oh, goody. I'm going to start lining them up again. By the way, if you're an ugly woman, you need more money. Lots and lots and lots of money. Thank you. Ladies, in need of a job? A local restaurant is hiring waitresses. More details will be given in our social media pages, but what we do know is that you must be 18 and you must have had at least 20 years waitressing experience. Hi y'all, Bill Aurelia here for the Aurelia Factor Quickie Moment. You know what makes me want to French kiss my mother-in-law? Yeah, well, actually, yeah, it's my mother-in-law. I want a French kiss. Well, actually, she's not my friend. Well, okay, she's not my mother-in-law. She's this guy named French, so it's his mother-in-law. But I'd still like to kiss her. I mean, she's a gorgeous, um, what do they call them, milks? Or milks or something? I don't know. But she's a very attractive older woman. So, um, it, it, no really observation, just I want to kiss her. Thank you. Hey, welcome back, Nutty's Treehouse. So, this was an interesting uh, episode, don't you think, huh? I mean, you had a Mr. Piper cartoon where the girl thinks meat loves salt. Father, dear, I love you as fresh meat loves salt. And then you got the Betty Boop cartoon where the guy thinks she's got pig's feet. And you got pig's feet. Don't get personal. Wow. So, I hope you enjoyed this week's episode. And uh, until next time... Thanks for watching Nutty's Treehouse. Bye! This is such a good episode. Episode, sorry. Ah, oh wow. Get him, Green Lantern. Yeah, Mr. Sandman. What's going on here? This is it. Oh, hi guys. Hello, and welcome to Nutty's Treehouse. Yes, it's the only treehouse in existence, at least that I know of, that allows you, an adult, to come back once a week, or however often it airs, to relax, eat some candy and chips, Read cartoons, watch, read cartoons. Boy, I have no idea where I'm going. Hold on. You gotta pick the best one, but.